Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. This is Synchron Brass by Vienna Symphonic Library. The name Synchron means it was recorded at Synchron Stage Vienna, a room with incredible acoustics for capturing sound. It also means it uses a Synchron player and has multiple mic setups for a wide range of sound settings from close and detailed to distant and ambient. It's touted as a versatile orchestra with eight solo instruments and nine ensembles. It is indeed a highly expressive library. It includes a new timbre adjust feature for true brass expression, which I'll cover. It comes with up to nine mic positions with pre-configured mixer presets and signature and effects presets. It also comes with expression maps for Sibelius, Dorco, and Cubase, which I'll cover later. For more information on this, please see the description. With VSL's libraries, every library is attached to a certain type of player. The Synchron series will use the Synchron player, so if you, so when you download and install your library, it will show up here. In this case, I have to open up my Synchron collections under the patch menu, navigate to Synchron Brass, and then you'll see a list of all the instruments included, as well as how many players are in that patch. When you click on those, you get a list of categorized articulations, where you can see all the nuanced playing techniques. Let's listen to Trumpet 1. In order to load an articulation, you have to click and drag it to this slot. And immediately you can see the playing range and you can start playing. So as you can see, we have staccato, short, staccato, short, agile, and you can easily replace your currently loaded patch just by dragging it over that. I won't have time to cover every single articulation, but I guarantee you these all sound fantastic. It's beautiful. You can customize how you express your instrument here in the perform window or what parameters you want to see. You can right click, for example, velocity crossfade. You can assign it to any controller. In this case, I have to turn it on. This is Long Espressivo with vibrato. It's beautiful. Let's listen to Legato. Vibrato con fortissimo. That is so beautiful. I'll go over more instruments in just a bit. I wanna go over the presets. Now, of course, brass instruments don't just play short and long notes, and they don't just play non-vibrato and vibrato. There are nuances, and VSL has taken what they did with their elite strings, and they filled in those gaps, all those nuances of vibrato, no vibrato, fast attack, fast release, slow attack, slow release, cross fading, as well as extended playing techniques. They've added all of that in there. And with this kind of library, it's easy to suddenly have a lot of articulations piled up. And what I love about the Synchron player is it has something called a dimension tree. And that lets you create stacks of articulations that you can quickly access. I'm gonna go ahead and open one up in the preset menu. And I'll open up horns, horn six players. And as you can see, we have articulations and then the type of articulations. For example, staccato, we have bold, and we have agile. 
If you want to begin playing it, all you have to do is make sure that the slot is selected and then begin playing and it will load it. Now that we have that loaded, we can go to the mixer presets and choose different mix presets that VSL has included with the software. I'm going to go to default so you can hear it with just the dry settings. No EQ, no reverb added, just the mics. I like that staccato is velocity sensitive. Even if you have modulation control over your dynamics, staccato is still velocity sensitive. So this is bold and agile is going to be a faster sounding articulation that's good for playing fast passages. Here are the long notes. They have Confortissimo, which I always love it when brass samples have those really loud dynamics because brass instruments can get really loud and it's easy to clip the signal, so a lot of sample libraries avoid those really loud sounds. Let's hear Espressivo. So some of these samples don't just have a static dynamic. Techniques like Espressivo give you a little swell. That way the note sounds like it has momentum and expression and life. Let's hear Legato. That's beautiful. Now legato by default is played as mono, monophonic. So if you try playing chords, it won't work. But if you wanted it to, you can choose poly legato. For beautiful chords. Now we get into extended techniques like flutters and trills. Here's flutter tongue. Trills. Whole tone trills. Then we have repetitions that are based on BPM. However, the great thing about this is that if your track is set to, let's say, 132, you can actually time stretch this by adjusting the stretch factor. But you need to make sure that time stretch is enabled and it will play along with your track at the correct time. We have ringing. And then cut. Now 
Now, the difference between these two is that ringing actually lets a note continue to ring after the final note, whereas cut decays right away. You can assign different key switch numbers to your articulations, your tempo, your release, to customize it the way that you want it. So there is lots of control here to getting the nuance of the attack, the dynamics. Let's listen to the different room settings. And I'll choose a different patch. Let's listen to tenor trombone. So that was a classic room mix. Let's choose decatry and ambience. That uh, sounds very wet, and it also includes a plate reverb. Let's hear glissandos. Some articulations are specific to the instrument, like trombones, since they have slides, they have glissandos. Here is minor second down. Sounds unsettling. Fourth up. I don't know if you can hear this, but I really like the fact that the trombones are not playing at the exact same time. So there are some variations in the speed of the slide. And that to me sounds realistic. This is sparkling decatry. You can choose presets that include all the brass playing together. For example, if you want a big brass chord. For an epic movie scene, this works perfectly. Try another preset with this. Outer space brass. Compressed. Distant. really is stunning. Let's listen to the bass tuba. A lot of times horn players have tacit written on their sheet music, which means that they don't play for that movement or for that piece. 
for that song. So bass tuba is something I don't really hear much. That sounds beautiful. I love that it shows you the range of the instrument. However, sometimes a piece that you're working on might have something out of outside the range of the instrument. And I've always loved that Vienna Symphonic Library does this with their instruments that you can go to the keyboard section and extend that range by clicking these double arrows and then simply sliding as far up or as far down as you can to wherever you want that instrument's range to stop. Now, I'm not sure if these are actual samples or if these are resampled. Sounds lovely. Now a new feature they have is called Timbre Adjust. This is going to be more advantageous with the horns, since horns regularly change their timbre. It's literally written out in their music whether it should be muted or open, where they stick their hand inside the bell of the instrument to mute it, and that gives it its warm, mellow sound, or have it ring as much as possible by removing their hand and letting the instrument vibrate as much as possible. So in this case, Timbre Adjust is assigned to CC8. I don't have that assigned on my keyboard, so I'm going to change it to 14. Hopefully 14 isn't assigned to something else. I'll turn that on, and then let's listen. All the way down is going to be a dark sound. I'm going to raise the volume a little bit. This will sound especially good on the rips, which give you slow and fast options. Here you can hear a lot of difference. Let's listen to the fast. I love that. You have crescendos, two and four seconds long. Forsato, which gives that strong initial attack and then backs off. I want to listen to the solo horn. As stated earlier, there are fast attacks or there are fast speeds, so the regular would sound good with slow movements, slow melodies like that, but you also have fast legato. Now, when you're actually programming the MIDI, it can take a long time getting the right articulations. Because I work with smaller instruments, usually I just use key switching, so I'll 
play the melody, and I will change the articulation by clicking in C0, C sharp one, whatever the key switch is assigned to the articulation that I want. However, with something like this, with literally dozens of articulations per instrument, it can get very tedious, time consuming, and confusing. Vienna Symphonic Library includes expression maps for Cubase, Dorico, and Sibelius. What this simply means is if you're in Cubase, click on your instrument, go down to expression map, make sure that it's loaded here, open up expression map setup, and then load the appropriate expression map for that instrument. In this case, I have the horn ensemble. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to go down here and select horn ensembles. What this does is that it creates a map that is going to allow me to access those articulations very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and record a melody. All right, something basic. And then I'm going to open up the editor. And under articulations, you'll see a list of all the articulations that are available for this instrument. I'll go ahead and delete this. So this is going to be a long note. I'm going to make these notes staccato. So I'll click on the staccato line. And this note's going to be long, but I don't have to click long on that one. And I can make these agile, which is going to give them a little bit more punch. So these notes, I want them to be staccato as well. Well, as you can see, you have your list of articulations that are available with this instrument with that preset dimension tree, and you can quickly change the articulation rather than putting in the key switch. This makes it a lot neater. So if I want to close this and just look at the notes, I can do that. And if I wanted to open it up and change an articulation, I can do that as well. You can choose dynamics, extended techniques. Those are just examples of what you can do with the software. So this is truly an incredible library. It's very detailed and it's massive. This is great for scoring. It's very easy to use. It's a large library, it has a lot of articulations. However, VSL has made it very easy to navigate it to create all these workflow enhancements with the expression mapping, dimension tree, and presets. It's truly a wonderful library. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this review and demo. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos. Take care.